Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. This is part two of this series. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be able to do this, but we're going to give it our best shot. I am going to take this one that's a double line, and I'm going to nudge it over, and then I'm going to grab the inner line. I'm going to nudge it over, so there's our two lines. I'm going to keep these. I'm going to group them together, Control G. I'm actually going to nudge this down and get it off the page. And we have two lines, so we're going to try this. I'm going to take this and go up to Object Blend, and I'm going to blend it one time. And it didn't work. Because, why didn't it work? If you if we look at it, uh, there's a lot of no, whoop, there's a lot of nodes, and they're not starting on the same spot. There's our starting spot on that one. So the blend tool really isn't going to work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to smart fill it. Let's use a blue. And let's nudge it over. And then let's left click, right click, go up to object, break the break it apart. And let's try to blend it now. Nope. It's because our starting and stopping points are in different spots. Um, I don't know that we can fix that because there's so many nodes. Um, I don't even see the starting spot now. You know what? We Let's try this. Let's get rid of that. Let's take this outer one. Well, let's do this. Let's try this. Let's try measuring. And let's try parallel dimension tool. And this is... I got the text so big I can't even read it. I think it says eight. Um, but it's only twelve. Yeah, it's eight point eight point zero four. So I'm gonna say eight. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the outside one and get rid of that text. And I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna to go to effects and contour. One time, 8.8 .8 millimeter. That went to the outside. I need to do it to the inside with rounded corners. So now we have a new shape, which is fine, because maybe this will work now. Now I'm going to select it all, go to the object, break the contour apart. Now let's see if we can't blend it one time. Still got the same problem. So that's not going to work. So what we can do, let's do this. Let's back up here. And let's, this time we'll, sorry about that. We'll contour it twice. Because all I want is a center line. So we're going to contour twice, two times at four millimeters. There we go. That's what we want right there. Go up to object, break the contour apart. We're going to try to grab the center one and move it out of the way. I'm going to have to go to group, ungroup, and then grab the outside one and put it back. Well, that's actually the one I need. So I want that one out of the way, and I want that one out of the way. Now i got just a center one. So there are, and if you have no interest doing this, just stop watching. There's 35 of these blocks. So we're going to make a block. That is three millimeters wide. Three millimeters, Doug. That would bug me to no end to draw, not in a hairline. Um, let's make it a hairline. And it doesn't really matter because every one of these is different. We're going to try to make them all the same. So if we look in a good way to measure one is a parallel dimension tool, the other is the smart field tool. So it's like 6.48 long. So let's make it 6.5. So there's our tab, but I didn't have a ratio lock. This still needs to be three. So there's our tab. We're going to use the blend tool. I don't really remember. I think this is the inside one. Yep. So I'm going to take the blend tool 
and I'm going to make a duplicate of this. And remember, so we have two. We're going to go blend, but we want, we need 35, but we only need 33 because we've already got two. And then I'm going to go to blend along new path. Blend along full path, and I'm pretty sure rotate all objects. Look at that. That might be the cat's meow right there. So what we need to do at this time, this is going to be a little difficult. I'm going to go break the blend apart. I'm going to take my line and move it over out of the way. And this is what it's going to look like when we cut it out, as you can see. And I think it's spaced out pretty good. We just need to figure out some other things first, but we'll figure them out. And then at this at this time, because um, you've got two of these, you've got one that has two cuts and one that only has one cut. So this is going to be your bottom. So what we're going to do at this time before we forget, we're going to take this, go up to object group and ungroup it. And we're going to nudge we don't really have to, but we're going to go ahead and use this. No, you know what? We made a new sh we made a new shape, so just delete that. This is our outside shape. I'm going to make a duplicate, or is it our outside shape? No, that's our inside shape. Let's uh, delete one of those. I want the outside shape. There we go. Okay, there we go. There's the outside shape. I need to control D and make a duplicate or hit the plus key. But then I need to take my blend and move it over, plus key, move it over. So this is now our top, or no, excuse me, this is our bottom. I'm going to control G to group it together. So there's our bottom. This is going to be our, probably our lid uh, that goes on top of the other one. And I just see that I didn't get all the... Uh, nodes that are over there, and I actually... Messed up there. Let's start over. I didn't have two of the, so I'm going to make a duplicate of that. I didn't have all the nodes or all the blocks, so I'm going to grab it all. Control G. Control D. Whoop. See, he's got his. That would irritate me. He's got his nub nudge factor set on uh, something other than, you know, he's got it set on five millimeters. So what I'm going to do now? I'm going to delete that one. I copy and I'm going to try to grab the there we go hit the plus key the plus key does not do that the uh, duplicate distance control G to group it there is our bottom this is our top hopefully this is going to fit right in there there we go so this is our top we just need to figure out the other spacing. So I'm going to grab our line and move it over. So I I don't like keeping my videos too long. So I'm going to, and hopefully the next step will work. And if it does, then it'll be, I'll be done with it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.